okay day seven january sorry february 3rd day seven february 3rd huh? tofu course Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Good. How was your day? How was um, it? was pretty good. The, the same thing that I do from Monday to Friday. Work in the morning, uh, doing home, home chores in the afternoon, and just that. Okay. Well, that's good to keep yourself busy, right? <laughs> that way you have activities and things to get done. Yes. I've been checking some documents that we need to do every month, the, the lesson planning that we do. So I've been this. <laughs> uh, you've been checking which documents, Serena? The, the lesson plans. Mm -hmm. I've been the document because I need to revise or check the documents that the other teachers do. Okay. Okay. I understand. Daniel, how are you? Good evening. Hello. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Hello, Elena. Hi. That's great. Great. A good day, Daniel? Yes. It was a wonderful day because the, today it was very busy. I've been very happy because I like to be, to help the people in, how do you say, regañado. Regañado? <laughs> Uh huh. How do you say? Um. Well, I guess you can say uh, yell at or uh -huh. complaint or depends how you're gonna use it. Mm -hmm. uh, 
he regañado a, a varias personas. Ah, ya, <laughs> ya. Yeah, yeah. Probably. I, I atención. How do you say? I. Yes, the, uh, I, I, I probably uh, called their attention. That would be the same. I, I called the attention. Yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Called the attention, and I've been very busy, but it was very productive too. So I, I've been very busy. It's a wonderful day. <laughs> a little tired, but I'm here. That, but that's the idea, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, it's necessary. Yeah. How do you say? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, sometimes we have to to request some help, and sometimes we should give a a little more that the useful. We are you. Lo que normalmente hacemos. That normally we do every day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you something. Veronica, how are you? Good evening. I am. I am fine. I feel a little tired because I have a hard day. Oh, okay. A, a lot of activities. Yes. yes, I have to do a lot of activities. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that yet probably the the best word that you that you would use for the for your conversation would be scold. It's in the chat. The scold. word scold. Yes, I I'm shaking. Yeah. It, ah, okay. Sunny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, scold. Okay. Yes. It, it is probably not a a, a a maybe it's not so common to use in English. Uh, regañar. Uh, because it is is not for um, they do, they don't do it they don't do it in the office you you file a complaint or you you know you you speak to someone but that that is more like for the children but it is the idea sometimes <laughs> okay <laughs> yes it's rare to say in English yeah I've been scolding you <laughs> yeah. It's because it's not it's not uh, it's not common for for the culture. It's only for it's more for the children. Mm -hmm. Because okay, okay. Because remember, if you're an adult, you're an adult. You're a professional, and if if you need to be scolded, you need to be fired. That's that's the American way. If if they if you cannot work professionally, you don't deserve to work there. There's other people. Yes. Yes, I sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and, and and remember that culturally, it, it usually they have a. Most companies have uh, procedures. They have a the the three complaints that they they have a written complaint. So usually, you don't scold like a supervisor. You don't scold. You file a complaint for your worker, and the first time is uh, for example, Veronica. Veronica. Uh, yeah. Please stop coming into work late. Sign, you have been warned, or or you receive a warning. That's usually the the idea. I, either you file a complaint, or Veronica receives a warning. And there's different types, like a verbal warning or a written warning, things like that. It's a uh, different synonymous that yeah that mean the the same. The, yeah, the, the 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 your your concept is there, but. It it just doesn't really exist for the for the culture because it's not it, it's not appropriate because it's kind of like a um, I don't know it, it's uh, like the work ethics are, are different so they don't usually have those types of issues. Okay. Okay. Right. So. Yes. <laughs> but okay. it's interesting, right? Because you know here it's just like ah. Daniel is being mean. Daniel is not doing his job, but eh, your job is your job. You, it's different than your friends. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it's the, the different way the people sometimes uh, is wrong because they confuse uh, different manners how to do you speak maybe after your schedule or maybe in a meeting, but when you are working, it's 
is another another way how to handle the different thing yeah 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 but a lot has to do with our culture because our culture is not is, is not based on uh, your abilities our culture is based on your contacts our culture is based on relationships so we don't have the idea that mario is the best the best person for the position he should receive the position no it's hey mario knows the director mario knows uh, the, uh, he is friends with the human resources so mario is going to have a better opportunity and the others you can be the director you can be you know the the friend and, and the only difference is like in the salvador if you are the the son of the owner the, the, that's the only difference if you are for the owners but if you are a normal person everybody is the same it's not who who do you know yes who do you know gives you the interview but is are you the best candidate that is that is really the only difference from well, that is the big difference from the uh, culturally yes i agree i agree with you so mm -hmm. But, but you know, sometimes you have to scold them. You have to scold them, Daniel. They're your children. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Grignon. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the people say. Whenever the boss tells people what to do, they always say that, right? Just like Irenia, if she checks the lesson plan and then she says, oh, hey, please make this correction. Ay, Irenia, you're so detailed. You always work. It's your job. But, you know, the people don't look at it like this. They say, Ay, she's always bothering, always with bothering and saying and doing these little things mm -hmm. all right let's get started mario how are you everything good hi very good thank you edwin good. Yeah. Glad to see i have you. problems yesterday because i'm i'm still working so but actually i finished a, a few reports so i can i can i can came here to english class so good evening everybody yeah, I was thinking because, you know, it, it's, you know, almost the, for the taxes and filing and all of the things that you need to get done. I was thinking about. Yeah, mm -hmm. always the, the first week of every month is very, is very difficult for me. So I apologize from yesterday and thanks to God I, I came here to English class. So nice. Good, good. All right, Rocio, you ready? Yes, 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 I am. <laughs> okay, good. I see everybody's microphone is working then. The uh, internet seems to be stable. Um, we're going to continue. Uh, we need to do some more listening practice, but we're going to review just a little bit about uh, one of the ones that we had from yesterday. Okay. That was here, organization questions. Now, yesterday you started it. But I just want to go over the technique so that it's clear how to help you improve. Because sometimes you, many times people think, oh, I listen and I answer. But no, it's not, it's not the best way to improve. The best way is first you read the question, you read the possible answers. Then you listen, you make your selection, and then you listen again if you have that information, if you identify the same information again, okay? Now, in the exam, it's not possible to listen two times. That's why you do it in class. In the exam, you only have that one time, but the technique is the same. The technique always is read the question, read the multiple choice answers, and then go for the listening. The difference in the exam is you don't read every word because it's impossible to go so quickly, okay? So you learn to read the big words, learn to identify the important words. For example, here, I don't need to read the word too, okay? I only need to go illustrate unsafe wooden houses. Okay, the next one. Uh, show uh, ways synthetic materials, dangerous. And that is the difference because when you're in the exam, you will, you have a short time to read. You don't have like normally, like right now, where to illustrate how unsafe wooden houses are to show. I don't have that time in the exam, so that's that's only the small difference. Okay, so one more time, how is the how are we going to do it? We're going to read the question, read the multiple choice, listen 
select our answer, and then listen again if we need to change our answer or if we stay with the same answer, okay? Now, because we are in class, it's important. If you are reading the question or you are reading the answers and you do not understand them, it's important for you to look up the words or for you to talk with your partner. Do not go, oh, okay, I, I don't know, I'm gonna skip. No, because here is the moment that you have to increase your vocabulary. In the exam, you can't, but here, yes, here you have the opportunity, okay? This is not a practice exam. This is only to help you improve the different techniques and expand the vocabulary. Okay. Any questions? No, it's okay. No. Okay, remember, this is in the listening section. This is listening section to organization questions, okay? So we're gonna break up into pairs and with our pairs, we're gonna try the same technique, okay? Some of you were able to answer number one and two yesterday. So uh, I mentioned it because I know uh, Mario couldn't come yesterday. So maybe that Mario says, hey, 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 let's do number one. Let's do number two is okay. But that way you have an idea that the, the other members, maybe they already did one and two because we couldn't finish all of the questions. All right. Okay. But I, I like to, to repeat because even though I know what is the the correct answer, when I listening, when I'm I'm listening the, the audio, I can identify exactly why. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So we are so, going to to hear the the first one you did? The second the second yeah. sec no the second one. The second the one. Okay. As, the aspirin bottles. Aspirin mm. bottle. Yeah. Why does the speaker mention aspirin bottles? Hmm. Okay. A, to demonstrate okay. the continuing process of invention, to illustrate failures, to show how invention can cause fatalities, to show that you can satisfy everybody all the time. Okay, let's go to the audio. Uh, okay. It's been said that necessity is the mother of invention. And this may be true in some cases, but most things that people need already exist. I don't know if you can see it. It's available. Yes, yes, I can see it. Okay, we work in, a, in the second question. Uh -huh. Okay, we try to <laughs> click on. It's been said that necessity. I don't know if you can listen it. Yes, I listen. You can. But most things that people need already exist. We inventors tend to be a group of dissatisfied people. We see the drawbacks of products that are already in existence. I think most people do. Think of something that annoys you. Your partner leaving the cap off the toothpaste, for instance. Now, the difference between most people and an inventor is that while most people grumble, 
an inventor starts to... It was very difficult to understand in the university, yeah. but <laughs> I took a two the diplomas from accounting and then it was easy for me to study in the in the in the university. Why why do you decide to study public accountant? I don't know. I like it. Uh, when I was in the the initial course of the university, I tried to understand the reason from the financial statements and I think that uh, public accounting was the 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 best uh, degree for understanding financial situations. So, for the reason I took the uh, that degree, and before that I I have a like a test, a psychological test that they they told you uh, which career. Uh, do you have to, to choose? Uh, and they have a, a few options. And one of that options, it was the public accounting. So I asked from my, one, from my mother, mm -hmm. hey mom, uh, which uh, degree it's better if I have, of, if I pretend to have a lot of money in the future. <laughs> so <laughs> she's, she told me that maybe I can try to, to study business administration or, or study for being a, a doctor of medicine. Mm -hmm. and, and then they have the, the option for public accounting. So eh, that all situation <laughs> for me was uh, like interesting. And I start to, to study Just public study. accounting, yes. Nice, Mari, sorry. <laughs> But uh, in my case, as has said before, uh, when I was in high school, for me, accountant was very easy. Uh, yes. For yeah, me, it was very easy to understand. Yes. After. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. But I know the, the answer is the letter A. Okay. Yeah, but, but it's because after an invention is, is failed. It, for, for example, the, the, the aspirin bottle is opened by the children, so they have to invent another invention. The, the continuous, the continuous process of invention. I think yeah. it's that. Yes, yes. The other, the other is not option. It's in the other option is not related. Mm -hmm. This great thing to show how we mention go goes faster. To show that you can <laughs> satisfy everybody at all the time. No, they, they are not related. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I think so. No, uh, that's okay. Uh, Let's go to number three, Rosie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, if three. you want, if you want, you you can read the, the three. Okay. Uh, the, the option. I, I I read. Okay. Why does the professor mention orange pills? A uh, hey, to demonstrate what can be learned from them, to show how to find out how much orange juice a family drinks. There C, to encourage people to make their own use. D, to demonstrate how studying something organic is preferable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We have, we have to listen. Why does the professor mention orange peel? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <clears throat> One way cultural anthropologists can study a culture is by sifting through garbage dumps Garbage is the remains of what a society used or threw away. Let's take, for example, an orange peel. What can I tell by looking at an orange peel? Well, um, I think you could possibly tell whether that orange was eaten or made into juice. Okay, good. Hmm. Let's imagine that we have a pile of orange peels, okay? 
This pile of orange peels indicates they were squeezed to make juice. What information can I gain from that? You could find out, uh, count those peels and estimate the number of oranges used. Uh, enough for two glasses may indicate a single person or, or a couple. And enough for a couple of quarts might indicate a family. Good. So we can make estimates on numbers of people. We can make even more assumptions. For example, what could we infer if there's enough for 50 people? Um, what would a seasonal change in the number of peels indicate? As you can see, an analysis of what's discarded can help us map out patterns and give us insights into human behavior. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on one's point of view, much of what's thrown away is organic. So when we're sifting through, say, the garbage dump of a Paleolithic village, the remains are limited. Of course, there are places where artifacts are better preserved, areas with dry desert air, such as Egypt, for instance, or with freezing temperatures, such as the Arctic regions. Oh, we've run out of time. Okay, I want you to think about, when you pass a pile of garbage, look at it and think about what that garbage can tell you. Tomorrow we'll discuss cultural anthropologists and the issue of grave robbing. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay. It's okay. You can discuss it. That way you can, you know, if you're not clear, you can say, I didn't mm -hmm. understand. I'm not sure. I understood this. And you try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, by this card. <laughs> by this card. <laughs> yes. So this, to encourage people to make their own use. They are not talking about that. They are talking about the garbage. How can uh, they uh, they can see when they 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 found a uh, a quantity of orange peels? So <laughs> they not they don't 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 talk about they they aren't. Talking about make I, use, make use. Is it, this is not the the point <laughs> to demonstrate how we're studying something organic, preserved, preserved. So studying uh, something organic, preserved. I, I, I mm, no, I, I, I really. Don't understand this this sentence, but I don't know. They are. Uh, oh, it says uh, how, is, to demonstrate how studying something organic is preferable. Is why it is better to study something organic than other things. Yeah. Mm. Oh. It's it's hard. It's hard. Very hard for me <laughs> because I supposedly when when the audio is running mm -hmm. uh, supposedly I understand different words the la mayor the majority of words I understand but mm -hmm. after that I can associate the all or the main idea the all idea the, the all idea the principal idea because they talk about different Subject, yes, I, I'm not sure how to explain that, <laughs> but I, I can, I can landscape, landscape, the, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. ah. The subject, the, the summary or, or something, well. Okay, but, okay, that, that's just that one, the yes, letter A. Yes, I think that's Yes. Let me okay. see what we can learn from the garbage.
Because I, I could say that is the letter B, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure because I hear something when he is speaking with, with somebody yes, else. Yes, yes, they are talking about uh -huh. how much uh, orange juice the family drink. For example, if it's only one person lives in that house, it's less orange juice <laughs> than when it's a family of uh -huh. Four, yes. three, yes, but that's not the, the main pain, the main point. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, yes this is not, it's only an example that w what we can learn from the garbage. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. yes. For, for that reason, I think it's the letter A, yeah. but I, I am a double with letter A and B. Not sure. ...to get away from the object or situation causing the fear. Now, these anxieties can be put into three main groups according to what causes the reaction. The first are what we call specific phobias. These are the most common phobias and their focus is specific objects. In fact, the thing feared is often relatively safe and also the sufferer usually realizes that and knows that their fear is irrational. A very common specific phobia is fear of heights, for example. This fear is very common. No doubt some of you have felt this fear from time to time. Fear of spiders and insects is another common one. Spiders are not usually harmful. Well, not usually anyway. But some people break out into a cold sweat and have heart palpitations and become immobile even if they know a spider is on the other side of the room. Some of the less common phobias seem rather bizarre. For example, would you believe some people are afraid of color, say the color yellow? Another strange one is fear of laughter. I guess that's not a laughing matter for the sufferer. Okay, so what causes these specific phobias? Well, we don't know exactly. We do know that they tend to run in families and they are apparently slightly more common in women. Many of them persist. That is, they don't go away on their own. At least that tends to be the case with phobias that develop in adolescence or adulthood. Specific phobias that develop in childhood are more likely to disappear with time. Another category of phobia is called social phobia. This fear is really the fear of being embarrassed or humiliated in front of other people. If social phobia is serious enough, it can prevent a person from continuing in school or work, and maybe that person avoids making friends. Now, some social phobics can actually be at ease with other people most of the time, except in particular situations. So, for example, a sufferer here may believe that small mistakes they make are more significant than they really are, or feel that everyone is looking at them. They could also be extremely fearful of, for example, using the phone in front of other people. Or it may be something really simple and seemingly irrational, such as drinking a cup of coffee, or even, say, buttoning a coat in front of others. A third category of phobia is known as agoraphobia. Do I need to put that on the board? No? Okay, fine. Okay, so this phobia causes people to suffer anxiety about being in places or situations from which they perceive it might be difficult to escape or in which it seems help is not available. So agoraphobia might include a fear of traveling alone, being alone in a crowd, or a being unable to leave a place easily. People with this condition often develop the disorder after suffering from a panic attack. That is, a feeling of intense terror with symptoms such as sweating and shortness of breath. Such panic attacks may occur randomly. Mm -hmm. But no, they don't mention about fires. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, we have to put the audio. We can, we can repeat the audio. Okay. It used to be that the safety of a house was judged simply by whether it stood up or not. Well, things have changed. Uh, during the 20th century, people... What happened? I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You have to refresh the the page. Um, I don't know. Uh, try have to do. close the page and then try opening it again. I think that maybe that would be easier. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then just open again. It okay. used to be that the safety of a house was judged simply by whether it stood up or not. Well, things have changed. Uh, during the 20th century, people began to build houses with synthetic materials. And unfortunately, these materials have proved over time that they endanger the health of the owners or uh, the house's occupants, since the owner doesn't necessarily live in the place. So, uh, what are these synthetic materials? Well, asbestos, for example. Asbestos, which was used as roofing sheets and paneling. This was found to cause memory loss. No, I'm sorry. It causes lung cancer. Asbestos has been found to cause lung cancer, and formaldehyde causes memory loss. Formaldehyde was used in um, insulating foams, synthetic resins, and uh, glues in things like plywood, chipboard, hardboard. Formaldehyde used in this way causes damage to the nervous system and, as I said before, memory loss, severe memory loss. Um, then there are wood preservatives. Now, they contain, wood preservatives contain, potent fungicides and insecticides. These cause cirrhosis of the liver, bone marrow atrophy, and nervous disorders. I'm really painting a bleak picture, aren't I? And, uh, and that brings us to paints. At one time, lead was the major ingredient in paint. You may think that when lead levels were restricted due to lead poisoning, that was the end of the problem. Now, get this. Paint technologists came up with even more poisonous metals, such as cadmium, to add to paints. Okay. Uh, the dangers of synthetic material are most apparent when a fire breaks out. Experts say that today, more people are killed by toxic fumes in house fires than by the fire itself. We may have used a lot of synthetic materials in house building, but in fact, for every synthetic material used in a home, there's a biological or natural counterpart. Okay, well, we can't all go, <laughs> we can't very well go and tear down our houses and start from scratch. However, there are ways to recognize and safely remove some synthetic material and replace it with natural alternatives. One. I think little b, yeah. I am between letter B and C, <laughs> but I'm going to check B. Okay. The next, why does the speaker mention aspirin bottles? A, to demonstrate the continuum process of invention. B, to illustrate failures. C, to show how invention can cause fatalities. D, to show that you can't satisfy everybody all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
It's been said that necessity is the mother of invention, and this may be true in some cases, but most things that people need already exist. We inventors tend to be a group of dissatisfied people. We see the drawbacks of products that are already in existence. I think most people do. Think of something that annoys you, your partner leaving the cap off the toothpaste, for instance. Now, the difference between most people and an inventor is that while most people grumble, an inventor starts to visualize solutions. We really get swept away with this enthusiasm, this passion for remedying the problem. We aren't grumpy, unhappy people. Let me say this. We may be dissatisfied, but we also tend to be very optimistic problem solvers. One has to be optimistic, extremely optimistic, to persist through the inevitable failures. Why? Because we fail a lot. But inventors thrive on failures. Where most people get discouraged and give up, inventors use failures as stepping stones to new approaches and then to eventual success. I shouldn't say success, because once the invention is completed, we often see another fault. Sometimes, in fact, an invention brings... When you visit the dentist, Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. I, and, I, I, I hear that it's the same when mm -hmm. you start for the first day in your job, a new job. Yeah. They are comparing and, and, something and that like is, that. And yes, and that is normal or or almost normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, it's something that most of the people or mm -hmm. many people feel. It's yeah. normal, but after he's talking about other situations that are not so normal, mm -hmm. and and he talk about three types of and 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 she had, how do you say and, anxious anxious anxiety. And, Yes, anxiety. Oh, anxiety. Uh, anxiety. Yes. anxiety. 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 And, and one of them is, uh, for example, the fear of, of the spiders and or they, they fear about the crown of people. And, and that's not so normal. <laughs> and, it's so normal, like to eat, to sleep. <laughs> uh, or or fear about the the laugh, the laugh of other people. When somebody is laughing, some people have fears. I I didn't. Uh, well, this is the first time I I hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did, did you did you catch that when when some people this fear about the the life? Did you hear that at the end at the end of the, the, mm, the I, I know I don't remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Why does the professor mention that many people feel anxious when they visit the dentist? Yes, uh, uh, that with that word you can relate relate it with the most people, uh -huh, many uh -huh. people and the most people. Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Ooh. Good. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you okay. want, we can hear. We can hear again. Uh -huh. And at the first, the first part. Okay, the first two minutes. Yes. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> maybe it, it's not that, but maybe because of the parents, because I know them since like you have a two years. Mm -hmm. Ah, and maybe because I'm, I'm, 
I have been working there for six years and the oh. other teacher was was new. She started last year, maybe because of that. Yeah. But it, we learn from our mistakes. So if I, if I receive a, a correction or something from a parent, I wouldn't be mad or something like that. I would read correction and learn from that and try to improve. It's the only way we have to improve, to make a mistake and to take the correction in order to avoid in the future. Mm -hmm. The thing that happens to me so often is that my students help me with, with some of the words because sometimes I know the words and I forget them. For example, I think yesterday, yesterday we were talking about adjectives and one of my students uh, asked me, Miss, how do you say egoista? And I was like, oh, I know how to say egoista, this is easy. But I, I I couldn't remember the word and other uh, another is is selfish and a uh, thank you that's the word and we continue working so it is the good thing about working with uh, because they help you and they they don't make you feel like you don't know oh, that's good it's good. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> we already finished the exercise, and we didn't know if we were supposed to do the listening test. Yes. No. Yes. Go on to the next listening. Uh, um, the connecting the content questions because the listenings are are pretty long, and um, maybe you probably need more than one time to listen. So, if you finish early, it's good to take advantage and go to the next one. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Okay. okay, so what causes these specific phobias? Well, we don't know exactly. We do know that they tend to run in families, and they are apparently slightly more common. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Okay, um, uh, A, to demonstrate what can be learning from them, to show how to find out how much or use a family brings, to encourage people to make their own use, or D, to demonstrate how a studying something organic is preferable. Okay. Mm -hmm. One way cultural anthropologists can study a culture is by sifting through garbage dumps. Garbage is the remains of what a society used or threw away. Let's take, for example, an orange peel. What can I tell by looking at an orange peel? Well, um, I think you could possibly tell whether that orange was eaten or made into juice. Okay, good. Hmm. Let's imagine that we have a pile of orange peels, okay? This pile of orange peels indicates they were squeezed to make juice. What information can I gain from that? You could find out, uh, count those peels and estimate the number of oranges used. Uh, enough for two glasses may indicate a single person or, or a couple. And enough for a couple of quarts might indicate a family. Good. So we can make estimates on numbers of people. We can make even more assumptions. For example, what could we infer if there's enough for 50 people? Um, what would a seasonal change in the number of peels indicate? As you can see, an analysis of what's discarded can help us map out patterns and give us insights into human behavior. Unfortunately, or Fortunately, depending on one's point of view, much of what's thrown away is organic. So when we're sifting through, say, the garbage dump of a Paleolithic village, the remains are limited. 
Of course, there are places where artifacts are better preserved, areas with dry desert air, such as Egypt, for instance, or with freezing temperatures, such as the Arctic regions. Oh, we've run out of time. Okay, I want you to think about when you pass... The three kind of... Phobia. Yeah, yeah. What, what did you got? Did you got uh, the, the number three, the third? <laughs> uh, well, the, the one, third one is, is the specific Specific, phobia. yes, it's specific, the spiders or if you said high, high, I think it's uh, high altura. I, I don't know. I, I, I hear yes, something yes. like that. Uh -huh. This is it. Yes, yes. And the other one is uh, about bizarre, bizarre, uh, uh, rare, rare, uh, strange. <laughs> Extreme it's extreme, yeah. uh, yes, extreme phobia, like, 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 I, um, for example, mm, people uh, hearing laugh, laugh, uh, I think it's very laughing. Yes. Uh-huh. When it's, it's laughing, somebody, they, they want to, they have phobia. <laughs> They they have fear. Or it's strange. Or something like uh, what is what else? He said the last one I, I, I couldn't hear. I didn't uh, understand. The last one I think are the situation. The situation. Yes. Some mm. specific situation. For example, mm, when you are uh, in in to when when you you have to talk by phone, he said. <laughs> Somebody don't want to talk by phone, <laughs> and I don't know. It's it's red. It's, it's strange. Or somebody don't want to be in a crown. In yeah. in, in crown is multitude. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Or okay. a specific situation. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, okay. Yeah. But it is 25 uh, by 25. Good. Yeah. Good motivation, Rocio. <laughs> I, 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 I was wrong with two, but no, after I, I, to, to listen again, please. Yes, I, I, I was wrong. At the beginning, I, I should be to indicate mm -hmm. that it's, a, it's irrational to have an answer to attack in some situation. But mm -hmm. this is not the point. This is not the... Yeah, but, but it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> but very interesting because I, 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 I'm very happy because the, the, the last audio I, I, couldn't, I couldn't identify yes. word by word. Word yeah. by word, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that I got it. what is the pronunciation I could understand, but mm -hmm. I know, I'm not sure if I could associate all the conversation mm -hmm. because I, I, I can, can get to, to what, mm -hmm. to know what, what she mm -hmm. is saying. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I, I don't understand word by word, but I, uh -huh. I, nice. the meaning, the, the, the whole meaning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, the teacher said that if we, we could go to the next listening. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Yes, we have done. Yes, here. I, I didn't see the, the chat. I mean, uh, okay. Instruction listen to a set okay. conversation or talks. Answer the question by selecting the two best answer for each question. What's happening? What can <laughs> say about a, little bit, a little bit harder, each one, a little, <laughs> a little bit more. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. What can be said about fish ravens? Fish ravens. What is fish ravens? Well, mm -hmm. uh, we can hear. Uh, well, the R was. Practice in various cultures. Uh -huh. The prince were slimy. Uh, slimy is delgado, no. The prince were is sli slimy. slimy or slimy. Slimy. Like, slimy, like, like the slime. slime that the children play with. The slime. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is ancient, ancient art. Ancient, uh -huh. ancient. No, 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 no. Ancient. Ancient, ancient. ancient art. Mm -hmm. And it is a dying art. Okay. Pues aquí tengo 16 posibles respuestas. Ok, let's go. Listen. Let's go. Uh -huh. One. You didn't come to art class yesterday, did you? Uh-uh. I got out of my chemistry lab late. Anything important I missed? Yeah. Dr. Matthews has arranged for us to meet at the art museum next week. Um, next Tuesday. I think that's the 26th. Because the museum's got a special exhibition on fish rubbings. Fish rubbings? Uh, what's that? Not a hands-on exhibition, I hope. No. Well, uh, not exactly. You missed a good lecture, though. Fish rubbings. It's an ancient art form in which fish are used to make prints. Sounds slimy. Where was this practiced? Um in the Far East, and by some native peoples in America. Will Dr. Matthews expect us to make some of our own fish rubbings afterwards? I suppose that's up to you. I think it might be interesting to give it a try. What can be said about fish rubbings? That's the first. Mm -hmm. What can be said about fish rubbing? A, C, B, D. And A, C is... Okay, guys. Pretty, pretty hard listenings, right? They're... <laughs> They're getting pretty <laughs> more complicated, more difficult, right? You have more choices, things like that. Okay. Yeah. So remember that the, the technique is, you know, you're not always going to be able to listen to all of them and understand every word. It's not realistic. The exam is designed for you not to understand every word. The idea is that to make sure that you have a big enough vocabulary and the level of comprehension that you can analyze and you can select, okay, with this information, I have an idea that is this, this, or this. That is the idea because it's just like, a, you know, it's kind of like in Spanish, a, a, not exactly like the pies, but that's the idea, right? A little bit harder than the pies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, I don't see the audio is the same or similar here in the platform as in the, in the TAFL. No, the audio from here on, on in the platform is similar to the audio you're going to experience in the exam. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The, the structures, the structures for the reading, the structures for the uh, for the audio is is very very similar. Um, the difference is maybe you have you're going to have more audio because obviously uh, the audios are for forty five minutes, for example, or forty minutes for listening. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get it. Wow. Yeah, you have to remember that 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 the complete the complete TOEFL exam is about four hours. Huh? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So that way, I, that way you're prepared, I, right? <laughs> I I think you seriously about the TOEFL exam. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you pass, you say, "Ha, that's me." I am the you can best. Do it. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys. Well, have a have a great night, and we'll continue again tomorrow, finishing up the last for the audio and beginning the next section. Okay. Thank you. Have a okay. Good night. See, thank you. Guys. See you. See you. Have See a nice ya. night. Have a good night.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.